I have a virtual network of Linux nodes set up, uh, created using Topology 5, where we have nodes 1 and 2 on one subnet, node 2 is a router, and 2 and 3 on a second subnet. What I want to do now is experiment with web browsing. In particular, see the exchange of messages when we use HTTP. So my idea is to have node 1 as a web browser, node 3 as a web server, and node 2 will capture packets on the router, the packets that go between node 1 and node 3. Now to do this, we need to overcome a couple of issues. First, we need a website. Uh, these nodes have the Apache web server uh, already installed, so it's easy to turn on the web server. But one thing that I want to do is create a, a simple website, so just a demo website so I can visit a few of the pages. So I've create, we've got a, a way to quickly do that. So on node 3, which is going to host the website, so this node is going to run a web server software called Apache, but we need some web pages uh, just to, to be displayed to the browser. And we've got a script in the vertnet directory that will create those pages for us. So the way to run this is we need to be a sudo to do this as administrator to set up the website. We'll use bash to run the script, and the script is in the vertnet directory under bin, and it's called vn deploy web index. What that will do is create a few uh, simple web pages and turn on the web server. And we need the network password, which is network. And I have run the script. Nothing's happened. There's no errors. Uh, let's hope it's created the web website. Uh, we'll see with the web browser in the moment. But just to explain the basics of the web server, the Apache web server will serve pages from a particular directory. And that directory is under var slash www.html. So in that directory slash var slash www slash html, there are a set of pages which were created by that script. You see index.html, page 1, page 2, an image, and a subdirectory, which also has some pages in it. And they're very simple web pages, but we can use them in testing. So we now have a website. To access that website, we need a web browser. So on node 1, bring up node 1, we need a web browser. But as, we, as you know, these nodes only run the command line. There's no graphical user interface. We can't run Firefox or some other graphical web browser here. We just have a terminal. But we have luck because uh, there are some text-based web browsers, and a common one is called Lynx. Lynx is a web browser, uh, and it will send requests for pages. And it will, when the web pages are sent back, it will show them in, in, as text on the screen. It works well for very simple web pages, but of course it cannot display images. Uh, it cannot display uh, complex objects, JavaScript, uh, and, and so on. But it's okay for testing. So before we access our website, let's go to node 2, our router, and start capturing with TCP dump, run as the administrator using sudo, capture on interface eth1, don't convert addresses to domain names, and let's write to a file called http1.pcap. Network is the password. So we're capturing on node 2, node 3 is our web server, and think now on the node 1 as the web browser. And a quick way to start our web browser is to type in links followed by the address of the web server. And we will use, uh, in the first case, the IP address of the web server, 192.168.2.21. And because with web uh, with URLs, we don't have to use a domain name. We can use the direct IP address. So let's try this. And links 
uh, triggers a HTTP request to be sent to the web server. The web page requested is sent back and you see the web page is titled Simple Demo Website and it has some links to page 1 and page 2 and a, a bit of text. In links, the browser, you can use your arrow keys on the keyboard to, to move between the different links. So up and down, now page 1 link is highlighted, down page 2 link is highlighted. If I want to visit page 1, I use my right arrow to follow the link. And that takes me to page 1 where it contains an image on there. Now, of course, links will not display that image. Uh, but if we had a graphical web pager, that image would be downloaded and displayed as well. And there's links to the home page and page two. Let's go to the home page. And now let's follow the link to page two. And page two is displayed. We can go back to the home page or maybe even page 3, which is in a different directory. Page 3. All right, page 3 is very simple and it has a link back to the home page. So these uh, web pages, which were created using the VN Deploy Web Index script, are just these four or five simple web pages uh, just so we can test our web browser and more importantly, capture some HTTP packets. In links, uh, if we want to quit, exit the web browser, press Q to quit. Are you sure? Yes, I am. We can stop the capture, Control C on Node 2, and then we could open that capture file in Wireshark. We can open FileZilla, connect to Node 2, Listening on port 2202 and download the capture file. And now we can go into Wireshark and view the capture file and explore the HTTP messages.